What's up, everyone? Welcome back to the Seek and Destroy stream. And this is episode four of Halo 2 Anniversary Edition. We are in the middle of the Oracle level. <clears throat> Normally, I don't want to stop levels or stop streams in the middle of a level, but it was a good ending point uh, because we're getting deeper and deeper in this facility. We're going to check out the Oracle. We're going to, you know, battle um, this other Sangili that we are told uh, by the prophets to go hunt down and kill. So we're going to be dealing with... Um, the heretic leader and uh and i figured that was a good point to stop on so we're going to try to finish the rest of oracle and then whatever episode is after this we're going to try to get through those two in the next 45 minutes and i'll just wait uh chat sees me great 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 all right grifter and john lee already here so let's not waste any time last episode we talked a lot of star wars stuff maybe we'll ease up on that in this one because i feel like we talked about it a lot in that one but if you guys have another topic you want to talk about Drop it in the chat and we'll do that. Or multiple topics, whatever you want. But I think we got our Star Wars fix for tonight. So this episode, we can talk about anything else. Um, like spicy buttholes. Because I'm going to have one tomorrow when Deadeye and I and everyone meet up for e our E3, pre-E3 dinner. And we're going to be eating these hot sauces. Oh, God dang. It's going to be a nightmare. There we go, another sword. Yeah. Heretics. Uh, am I still a good person if I'm like super stoked to see you guys doing this yourselves? I'm so glad you're gonna be there, John. Um, I'd love for people to film it from different angles if they want, and we can so we can edit together a, like a, a video from different angles. Because um, I'm sure we are gonna fucking we are gonna regret making this decision. Um, I like spicy food, but I think I'm my limit is gonna be put to the test of how much I like spicy food. <laughs> Uh, the good thing is we're going to be eating at a place where we can order, like, you know, um, a side of fries. And we can pour the hot sauces out and maybe scoop the fries into the hot sauce. Um, which, so we might do that. And that way anyone else at the table that wants to try some of the more mild ones, they can. Cletus. The hell is that? Come on, Cletus. down. Checkpoint, checkpoint, checkpoint. Here we go. Nope. Wasn't there another blade over here somewhere? Oh, shit. Uh, buddy, you best believe I'm filming this shit. <laughs> Are flood carriers mutated grunts? <clears throat> I don't think so. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, no, the flood have their own... Like, um, yes, they can inhabit a body and reanimate like a soldier or elite or, you know, whatever. But um, they have their own... Um, 
like life forms too. Like, I mean, it it could be argued that that could be a grunt, for sure. Um, but I don't think so. I don't think it is. <clears throat> and the only reason I say that it's probably not is because um. Oh shit. Um, is because you never see a grunt get reanimated and then turn into one of them. Those things just show up. So I'm thinking they're just a type of, of, uh, a type of, um, flood. Weapons? I need weapons. Shit, we don't have a lot of a lot left in this thing. There he is. Hey, Chaferton, how's it going? Um, John says, fuck, there are a lot of fireworks tonight. Oh, yeah? Where is fireworks are cool. Hello, do you play Destiny? I used to play Destiny when I had a PS4. I never bought it on the Xbox One when I switched to the Xbox. The cable. I'm going to cut it. Get everyone back to the ships. I like this. He's like, oh, yeah, the, the cable up above. I'm going to cut it. Me that sword. Me that fucking sword. You suck. You suck, man. I wanted that sword. You're doing good? Thanks. Oh, you're welcome, dude. No problem. Glad you're in here, Chaferton. Welcome, welcome to the stream. Let them fight it out. Um, yeah, you'll probably see me play Destiny 2, though, because uh, my friend Alex, who I played Destiny 1 with a lot, um, he uh, he wants to buy me a copy of Destiny 2 so I can play with him on his fire team. And my new roommate, Kevin, has a PS4, so I'm going to ask Kevin if we can borrow his PS4 um, for streams uh, so, I can, so I can play Destiny 2. And maybe some other games. Shit. Run, 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 run. That's one. By the prophets, look at the station list. There we go. Oof. Run, 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 run. Here we go. Shit's about to get real. Goodbye, motherfuckers. Uh, right on. Currently play X I currently play Xbox, but debating if I should switch over to PS4 or stick with Xbox for Destiny 2. I'm, I'm sure you're going to get more rewards if you stick to the same system, because you could probably transfer data and information, which is kind of why I'm kind of happy that I'm going to play it on PS4, because that's where all my 
information and data is um, on the first uh, first destiny. So I imagine there's some extra extra things you might get, maybe armor or something. Uh, I don't know that for sure, but. Here we go. Let's go kill this heretic. What, dude? I invented sword fighting. Have you ever played genital jousting? I'm the fucking king. You're gonna go for PC with the uh, knights. Nice. Going for PC. Uh, Grifter says he's gonna do PC for Destiny 2. <coughs> Good call. Time to chase him. Do this. Bam. Pull a master chief. Oh no, dude, not genital jousting. <laughs> PS4 will definitely get content before Xbox One does. There that's another thing too, the timed exclusives. Um I much prefer MK for shooting. Oh yeah? Excuse me. I'm, I can feel it in my throat now. It's getting really bad. Alright. Where'd this asshole go? I want to kill him! Running, running, running. Uh, me too, just ordered parts to build, but we'll play on console too. Oh, nice. Doubling up. I think if you get on Expo and you get the Windows 10 version as well. This way. Yep. Bam. I think the last time we played through this, some of these levels took us like a full hour to get through. Some of them were actually going through in like 15 minutes <laughs> um, on this playthrough. Your poor, vo your poor voice, dude. I sound like that sometimes, but I earn that by being made of 75% marijuana. <coughs> nice, John Lee. Microsoft needs to make some deals with big popular developers so Xbox can get some early access content or console exclusive games. They really do. Hey, it's yay! My favorite character. The Oracle about Halo. How they would sacrifice us all for nothing. More questions? Splendid. I would be happy to assist you. Oh, shit. Um. Yeah, Microsoft, that's why I'm really interested about their press conference tomorrow, because they're so hell-bent on doing a lot of the stuff themselves, and I think it's worked for them at times in the past. But, I mean, let me tell you, as a Resident Evil fan... It really took the steam out of those uh, those um, DLCs for Resident Evil 7 when they were on the PlayStation 4 like a month or two before I could play them. Um, that was such a bummer. Oh, 
Oh shit, we beat him already? Fuck! <laughs> I had no choice, Holy Oracle. This heretic imperiled the Great Journey. Oracle? Great Journey? Why do you meddlers insist on using such inaccurate verbiage? <laughs> that is the Oracle. So it is. Come, you are leaving this system. So it is. It's like, that's the Oracle. Yeah, who gives a fuck? Delta Halo. A covenant army stands between you and regret. Achievement unlocked. Read the strategy. Beat the part time on the Oracle. Yeah, we flew through that level pretty, pretty quickly. Oh, well, that was quick. <laughs> pretty colors. Jesus, we are blazing through. Yeah, we went through that really quick. I wasn't expecting that. Um,. I was like, oh, I think the original guy's on top of the ship, but I didn't realize when I jumped up there, the first one that came at me was the original, and I hit him with the sword like three times. He was done. It's like, shit. All right. <clears throat> right? I feel like they're focusing more on high-quality gaming and how smoothly they work rather than making games. Yep. <clears throat> they... They have their priorities mixed up sometimes, Microsoft, which is why I'm hoping their E3 press conference, you know, shows that they've maybe learned from those mistakes. Um, yeah, they certainly need, I mean, they have, because their only exclusive content is just like Halo and Gears of War and like a handful of other ones, and most of those are made now in-house by Microsoft, and it's kind of like, <clears throat> you know, I don't know. I can understand why Halo's their, Say what? So this is what their bread and butter. I mean, this is the first game that Halo really put their system on the map. Um, if activated, this ring will cause destruction on a galactic scale. Oh shit! I want all the information you've got on the first Halo: schematic, topography, whatever. I don't care if I have the clearance or not. Yes, ma'am. But yeah, they're certainly the focusing on that. Uh, take him for sure. Right over it. Perfect. Given what we know about this ring, it's even more Do you think they can even the bounce profit. back? I remember when I Xbox 360 was the console to get here. rather than the PS4. Um, that's a good question. Because I think it comes down to op opinion. Obviously, like, I agree with you on the Xbox 360 being the console, uh, especially over the PS3. But, um, but I, I think there are people that would disagree with that. I'm not... I don't know. There, there are, though. Um... But I'm with you, though. I thought the 360 was the console. It had all of my favorite games on it. There's a reason why I have, like, you know, 40,000 or plus whatever um, achievement points, because I just loved playing games on it. And, and the games that were out were really great. Um, but to me, they've become like a, like a movie studio now, where they're like, all right, we're going to release our three big titles a year, and then they just have, like... They make it really easy for indie developers to develop for them, which is fine and great. And I think of, there's a lot of great indie games out there and indie developers that need a shot at making their games and bringing their visions to life and, and, and bringing their games to the masses. Um, but... Can you possibly uh, make any more noise? Uh, oh, shit. <laughs> but... <coughs> um... It's, it's like 50-50, right, with the quality of those independent games. So I think they do a lot of really great stuff um, over at Microsoft, and I like that they help out the little guys who make vi video games, but I think they rely on it a little too much, and they need more, like, AAA third-party developers. But also, that's not even just their fault either. The video game you know, making landscape has changed greatly. Even AAA companies making triple a games like it's like even that's not as easy as it was before and there's no such thing as a guaranteed hit really um uh but i don't know I, I feel like and i feel like some developers just i don't know maybe don't have that relationship with microsoft that they used to um or sony is just offering them a lot more if you look at sony as a company their most profitable thing out there is the playstation 4 their video game development is actually so strong that there was rumors that the video game development, like uh, company side of Sony, and the inter the uh, like the, the console side and all that stuff, they may they were actually rumored to take over the movie division 
because the movie division is hurting so badly. Um, that's saying something to the strength of uh, of the video game uh, and how much Sony, the company, trusts them. So they get, like, if, if they want something, they get it. Um, you know, for the most part. You know, they have to still work for it, obviously, but, uh, but if they're like, hey, we want to do this game, we want to make it exclusive, it's not that hard to do for them. Um, and yeah, they got really good deals. Sony owns the rights to Resident Evil as a movie franchise, so of course Sony's going to get first dibs on any Resident Evil 7 DLC and all that stuff. It's like, they're really good at business, and because they have a movie division, um, because they have a movie division, they're able to um, play both sides sometimes. Like, Sony's going to get the Spider-Man game exclusively, and it's like, oh... A Spider-Man game made by Insomniac Studios, and it's exclusive to the PlayStation, which makes sense because they own the rights to Spider-Man, but you're like, damn it, I want, like, remember when they used to make games on the Xbox, too? Like, Web of Shadows came out for all the systems and Shadow Dimensions and all that stuff, so. But I, I think they can bounce back, take him. I think they can. Um, but I think the Scorpio's derailing them a little bit. I think they need to focus more on making the Xbox One a great system instead of taking half steps because the Scorpio, to me, even though it's an awesome looking system, feels like an, like the next iPhone, right? Where it's not leaps and bounds better than the last one. It's like a half step better. And the Scorpio feels like a half step. And I don't like half step uh, way of thinking mentality. And so I think uh, Scorpio's distracted them from their real focus. Now, having said that, maybe the Scorpio is where they bounce back, where they go, hey, we are focused on the Scorpio, but the reason being is because we want this to be our main system from now on. Um, and we want developers to make games easier for our stuff, and and we want to go all in on this. So, I don't know, that's a possibility. Watch out, Chief. Wraith's on the far side. It's a possibility that they can use the Scorpio as a, as a way to bounce back. Oh, with all the... What's up, Deadeye? How's it going? No half measures, Xbox. Hashtag. Roger that. Armor's on the way. Um, by, by the way, Seek, John was bullying me. What? Jomily. No. We do not like bullies here. Um, with all the, take him says, with all the big things Sony has in their industry, don't you think Microsoft, with all their computers and stuff, have as much, if not more, money than they do? Um, probably, but having money is different than knowing how to spend money, right? And... Whereas Sony has multiple divisions and stuff, just like Microsoft does. Um, um, it's a matter of spending it properly. And uh, I think sometimes Microsoft doesn't spend their money properly. But that's, again, just my opinion. Oh shit. Bam. Uh, and you're welcome, Tim Kim. I mean, these are just all my my opinion. It's like, I don't have any insider information, obviously, on anything. Um, but, you know, Sony's broken up into multiple factions, and Microsoft is too. And there's parts of their company that are doing way better than other parts of their company. And I think the video game side for Microsoft is just... I think they've lost a little bit. <clears throat> I think, like, they just have their fingers a little bit further from the pulse than it used to be. It's still on the arm, in my opinion. I think Microsoft's fingers are still on the arm. They're just not near the pulse. Um, and I think Sony has a real good shot at E3 to show how much their fingers on the pulse. Because, you know, I would say Sony's had some misses too. Like, I don't think the VR was a big success for them, this, you know. Um, and now that Microsoft's like, oh, we're gonna make a VR too. I'm like, well, are you sure you still want to? 
like the Sony's didn't do that well. So I'd be really interested to see if they announce a VR, what um what makes it so different than uh, Sony's and why it should be something we should consider at all. Um, like I can't really play VR games. I'll get sick and puke everywhere. And so I want to know, you know, if that's going to be um, worth it to me. Xbox VR could do really well with Kinect integration. It could, that's true. With Kinect integration, it could do really, really well. But will it? And will they do Careful, that? We're coming up on another structure. I'd like to think they would, but, you know, it's hard to say. Textbook, good influence. <laughs> you guys are all right. Die! Inbound. Let's clear a land. Oh shit, nope, we're not firing it off here. Oh, come on. Kill any of these guys. All right. And now, <laughs> Seek said it was you. No, I did not. Whoa. God damn it. <laughs> did I ask what everyone was drinking tonight? Um, so we'll <coughs> we're still gonna count that for this episode. Um, did I? Shit. Shit. Oh my god. Getting our butts kicked. Alright. Made it. Who are you going to believe? The guy is from the suburbs. Wow, that's true. That's true. Untrustworthy suburban a-hole. That's what they call me. Gotta listen to the one with the camera. <laughs> Well, tomorrow, John will have the camera because John's going to be filming us, um, Deadeye and I, doing the, the, the food contest, the hot sauce contest. So John will have the camera tomorrow. Um, I asked, oh, my God, Deadeye, you're going to get the credit. <clears throat> oh, my God. <laughs> this is killing my whole goddamn soul. Seek, uh, feed me cake? What? Feed you cake? Okay. Nom 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 nom. I only eat cake holes, so you're gonna have to eat cake holes. Oh, you down. I kinda want the sniper. Yeah, let's do it. You always bring me to such nice places. Who the fuck is shooting me? Oh, you. What's up, Sonic Master? How you doing? <laughs> That's over the credit limit. Where's Shiny Bitcup? Um, oh, I, well, I don't stream to my PC, so I can't add graphics or anything. So there's no real Bitcup um, on this channel. Uh, and actually, we have uh, Grifter. Was it? It was Grifter who donated a thousand bits to us tonight, dude. Thank you so much for that. Um, I really, really appreciate it. Uh, thank you, Grifter. And for Corndog666, who came in hot with uh, six biddies earlier, I uh, really appreciate that too, Corndog. 
All right. Just flying through this level. Good. Still no word about in amber clad on the Covenant battle It's odd. If the Covenant know we made landfall, but they don't seem to consider us a very serious threat. Old school Why, graphics. Big surprise. Bam, new school graphics. Oh, and Sonic Master with the biddies now. Holy cow. Sonic, thank you, dude. Really, really appreciate that. Love that I'm somehow the psychotic enforcer of this stream. Well, someone's given themselves a lot of credit. But that's okay, John. You've earned it. Yes. The demon is here. The demon is here. Oh shit! Whoa, that motherfucker killed me. Yay, biddies! <laughs> For them titties, John Lee says. Oh my goodness. Watch yourself, honor guards. The demon is here. Come get it. I think we go this way. Damn, Elite Ninja. Yeah, that was fucking hardcore. He came right up behind us and was like, oh. This fucking. This guy was hiding. <laughs> Get to the chopper. <laughs> ah, here we go. Regret. So you don't want the tank? Beat the par time on Delta Halo. All right. Just run in, run in, and run in, run in. Are you sure? Of course. This holy ring. Release its cleansing flame of course she's sure. She's, she's Cortana. The Pretty much. Commander, you've hm. got a problem. So I hear. But from what I understand, the Prophet will need an object, the Index, to activate the ring. I've located a library similar He's to the He's such a badass, dude. Halo. The rings work the same way. The index should be inside. I'll bet the Covenant are thinking the exact same thing. Then we better beat them to it. Johnson, too. Extract your men and meet me at the library. Yes, ma'am. I'll secure the index, Chief. You take out the Prophet. He's given us all the intel we need. All right. Oh. Um. Oh, shit. Plenty of rockets. <laughs> so cool. All right, I'm going to try to run through this. And then maybe when we get to where we need to go, we'll stop this episode. Because I think that um, will help end the last episode, you know, like splicing them together. Oh, shoot. Let's go get this sniper back here. Will this open? No. Right. Um, and then if you guys, if you guys are down, we'll do one more episode after this. Um, since we had that little interruption, I feel, I feel a little bummed about that. So, uh, if you guys want, we'll do one more. 
because I thought it was like way later than it was. Um, so I have enough in me to go till 1 a.m. So that's like in 45 minutes. So if you guys are down for one more, we we can make it happen. I wish I had time to decipher these inscriptions. The forerunners revered this place. That would be clear. But was it a temple? Or a university? That's it. Yeah. Boom. What the fuck? There we go. Roger, Roger. So, what do you guys think? One more episode? That was me. All right, where do we need to go now? Is it over? Oh shit. Whoa, where'd it go? Cortana, the covenant's getting nosy. Now, I don't want to give away. I think we should get me Kate. <laughs> Jam's down for one more episode. Okay. I apologize. These pelicans are all the support you're gonna get. Understood, all right. ma'am. So that's a good bot we hit the checkpoint. We'll end right here. And I will, I will splice this episode. If, if you're watching later on YouTube, we had a, a, an issue where it it's, um, ended our stream in the middle of the episode. So uh, I'm going to splice these two together to make episode four. We'll come right back with episode five. <clears throat> and after that, we'll call it a night because, as you can tell, my voice is definitely on its way out right now. And I want to save some of that for work tomorrow and for hanging out with friends tomorrow. And then I'll rest all day Monday if I can before E3. So, um... Thank you all for being here, and I will be right back if you're here live, if you're watching later on YouTube. Thanks for putting up with my voice. Hopefully you still enjoyed the show, and uh, definitely come back for the next episode. Peace.